What's up guys, I collected CS2 settings from pros to hopefully prevent this from happening. I- I, I just get a f two second stutter! There's this reddit thread that Robs was reading on his stream and it has really good information about CL interp that I'm going to link down below in the description. Robs himself is going to use these settings shown here on the screen. You'll see here after he reads the thread, he's going to this, copy this. these rates here and puts it in his config. Okay, then we have everything. It's just those three. Rops' config consists of a jump throw bind, run throw bind, which I did a full video tutorial on how to set that up. Link is down below in the description. He's got a bind to open up console, and then there are these three new rates, which we saw in the Reddit thread. We've got CL update rate 128, CL interp ratio 1, CL interp 0.015625, and then the show FPS 1. If you don't have stable internet, make sure to use the other interp value which is 0.03125 make sure you add these values into a config and you have to run it every time you start cs2 i change seal update rate to 128 seal interp to 0 0.015625 and seal interp ratio to one okay and then i also turned this setting uh, flop disc flop disc right here to disabled. The PC optimizer ISA also recommends that you change your update rate to 128. Here's a quick word from my sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey, a trading platform where you can instantly get new skins by trading in your old ones. All you have to do is click on your item, see how much it's worth, then pick out some new skins. <laughs> What I love about Skins Monkey is that you can take a bunch of your skins that you don't want and trade them for a better one like I'm doing here, essentially upgrading. Besides trading, you can also buy CSGO skins for cheap with a 30% deposit bonus and if you use my code NART, you get an additional 5%. Make sure to use the link in the description and code NART to get all the extra bonuses. That was what the rates that should be in the first half of the video. Now the other half that you're about to see now is video settings from various pros as well as other settings. There's that, the video settings, and then the advanced video is here. Yeah. See that? Where is? Where are you? Oh. Water! What's the f? I'm begging. I'm begging you. Let's oh, look at Papa in front. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at Hella Slick. Alright, this me. Alright. Like that. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and. Getting some soda. Screenshot, this is my advanced video settings. They're showing wings? Ah, yeah, never mind. It shows wings. So, you want to start with computer mode, not television, okay? I like to run around 110% brightness, but when the game's properly out, I'll probably use 120, but it won't let you change right now. So, 110, whatever the default is. Sack. Then, full screen. Then you come to advanced video, okay? The only important setting to have is high dynamic range. Put this on quality and your game will look close to CSGO, okay? I don't like MS uh, anti-analysis because it makes your game really blurry. Um, the rest of this stuff is probably flex, but this is what I have to make my game look really good right now. And to be honest, it looks very like, very, very much like CSGO, so I'm happy. I literally didn't do anything. Video, as you can see, all right. Advanced, you can clip this, all right, just clip it, just clip it. Okay. Be the number one in the world or try, boom, there you go. This is it. True. Oh, this is yeah, it. Yeah, uh, Swixel or KZ posted another command, a console command. It's like to change your gamma. Because the it resets. Settings don't save, yeah. Yeah. Ours underscore full screen gamma, what does it do? You can change any value you want. Uh, higher like the brightness, is darker, lower is the brightness. brightness. But it and resets every time you start the game. Aha! Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So startup command. Jojo made a really good comparison with this R full screen gamma console command between 2.2 and 3. 
So if CS2 is way too bright for you, you can mess with this command and find the correct value to make your game look less brighter. Launders shared his settings where he said he spent 12 hours trying to make CS2 feel like CSGO. Make sure to check the description. I will link down the tweets I showed in the video as well as that Reddit thread. And then here's Launders NVIDIA settings. I'm hoping these settings helped you guys out. Please leave the video a like and make sure to subscribe as I will be putting out a more in-depth settings video as well as FPS optimization guide with ISA, the PC optimizer. Till next time, Nard out here, peace.